let us discuss one more important problem prove that area of the triangle inscribed in the parabola y square equal to 4ax is 1 by 8a modulus y1 minus y2 into y2 minus y3 into y3 minus y1 square units where y1 y2 y3 are the ordinates of the given vertices now let us take the parabola is like this now let us take a point here point here point here join these three points these three points like this now you require to find out area of this triangle let us justify whether our figure is right or wrong prove that the area of the triangle inscribed in the parabola so let us consider two three points p a t1 square comma 2 a t1 referring to x1 comma y1 q a t2 square comma 2 a t2 referring to x2 comma y2 r a t3 square comma 2 a t3 referring to x3 comma y3 now area of the triangle found by these three points so first given a parabola is y square equal to 4 ax make it equation 1 p a t1 square comma 2 a t1 q a t2 square comma 2 a t2 r a t3 square comma 2 a t3 are points on the parabola now we need to find out area we know the formula this is x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 area of triangle p q r is given by 1 by 2 into x1 minus x2 we remember this formula from first year coordinate geometry y1 minus y2 x1 minus x3 y1 minus y3 let us simplify very very carefully x1 minus x2 this minus this you can see a is common here a into t1 square minus t2 square again 2a into t1 minus t2 now a into t1 square minus t3 square 2a into t1 minus t3 now you can check 1 by 2 in the first row you can see t1 minus t2 is common in the second row t1 minus t3 is common in first column a is common second column 2a is common so let us bring out all those common factors from first column a second column 2a first row t1 minus t2 second row it is t1 minus t3 if you take the leftover terms are going to be here a came already only t1 plus t2 will be remaining here it is 1 here it is again t1 plus t3 again this is going to be 1 so we know determinant of 2 by 2 matrix a b c d is nothing but a d minus b c so this into this minus this so 2 gets cancelled here a square into t1 minus t2 into t1 minus t3 into t1 plus t2 minus t1 minus t3 t1 gets cancelled it is a square into t1 minus t2 while writing this equation to maintain the cyclic order you, you can write like t2 minus t3 and t3 minus t1 now because area put it in modulus now you check the vital important step here this is a square into now i will write this is 2a t1 minus 2a t2 that means i multiplied first bracket by 2a again 2a t2 minus 2a t3 second bracket also by 2a third bracket also by 2a 2a t3 minus 2a t1 that means i multiplied here 2a here 2a here 2a together it makes 8a cube so because i multiply i need to divide 8a cube 1a square gets cancelled 1 by 8a into now 2a t1 is the corresponding y coordinate of point number 1 2a t2 is the corresponding y coordinate of 
point number 2 283 is the corresponding coordinate of y3 point number 3 now this is y1 minus y2 into y2 minus y3 into y3 minus y1 square units you always remember one point since area cannot be negative always it is advised to put the area in modulus so that inside if it negative sign comes also it makes us positive 